Hello students and welcome to my channel Maths Hub. In my last few videos I am talking about graphs and today I will teach you about P graphs, planar graphs, pseudo graphs, regular graphs and complete graphs. So let's come to the first definition that is a wheel graph. Now a wheel graph says that a graph with n vertices in, is in which it contains a cycle of order n minus 1 and for which every vertex in the cycle is connected to other vertex is called a wheel. So order means here the length of the cycle should be n minus 1. So this is a wheel graph with four vertices. So you can see here four vertices. And if I mark these vertices with the numbers a, b, c and d. So I can see that there are cycles of length 3 here. A, B, B, C, C, D, then I can have A, B, D, A, A, D, then A, D, B, C, C, A and many other, right? So all the cycles are of length 3 and you can see that every vertex is connected to a cycle with the help of other vertices, right? Similarly, you can check W5, wheel graph with 5 vertices, wheel graph with 6 vertices, 7 vertices, 8 vertices, 9 vertices, 10 vertices and 11, right? Then let's talk about a planar graph. Planar graph is a graph as the name suggests. It can be drawn on a plane of paper such that none of the two edges they cross each other. Right? So if I draw a planar graph like this, you can see that none of the edges are crossing each other and hence it can be called as a planar graph. Likewise, if I talk about graph B, you can see that many edges are crossing each other here. So this is an example of a non-planar graph, right? Now, let's understand some properties of, okay, before we go to the properties, next definition is region. Now, what is a region? Every planar graph divides the plane into connected areas, which are called the region. So, suppose this is a planar graph. You can see that the graph is drawn on a plane paper and no two edges are crossing each other, right? So, the number of areas in which this graph is being getting divided that is called the region. So you can see the numbers are marked here. This is first area, this is the second area, third area, fourth area and the outside area is area number five. So in this case this graph is dividing the entire plane into five regions. Right? So now let's talk about the properties of the planar graph. So the first property says that if a connected planar graph G has E edges and R regions, then R is always less than equal to 2 by 3 times the number of edges. That means there is a relationship between the number of regions and the edges. So R is always less than 2 by third of the number of edges. Similarly, there is a relationship between the vertices and the edges. 3B minus E is always greater than or equal to 6. And the third property says that in a complete graph Kn, in the next couple of slides, I'll tell you what is a complete graph. So a complete graph Kn is planar if and only if n is less than 5. So we'll recall this property again and I'll make you understand that what is this property telling you. What do you understand by a complete planar graph and why is it n should be less than 5, right? Okay, so now let's come to an exercise. You need to find out the maximum number of edges possible in a planar graph with four vertices. So in the last slide we did a relation that 3b minus e is always greater than or equal to 6. So the number of vertices given to us are 4. So 3 into 4 minus edges is greater than 6. So you can transfer 12 on the other side. We'll get minus e is greater than or equal to minus 6. You can cancel the negative side. On cancelling the negative side inequality changes and we get that e is less than so what is, should be the maximum number of edges? They should be 6. So that this graph is plain. Right? Okay. So now let's come to the definition of a pseudo graph. So a pseudo graph is a graph in which the roots and parallel edges are allowed. So you can see that this is one example of a graph which has both loops as well as multiple edges. Multiple edges or parallel edges. Again, this, is, this was an example of a pseudo graph, right? Okay. Now let's talk about a weighted graph. Now what is a weighted graph? Weighted graph means when some numbers are associated with the edges, right? Now what do you understand by these numbers? For example, 
zero, one, two, three, they are denoting some cities, and the distance between these cities are denoted by these numbers. The distance between zero and one is ten. The distance between zero and three is two. The distance between two and three is six, and so on. So weights are nothing but certain numbers which are assigned to these edges, so that they can be used in some algorithms where you are calculating the shortest distance between any two. Right? Okay. So this is one more example. So this the first example was in case of a directed graph. The second example is in case of a undirected graph. So you can see that still there are certain numbers associated to each of these edges, so which denotes the weights attached to this graph. So any graph in which the edges have some weights, those graphs are called weighted. Right? Okay. So now next let's come to the definition of a complete graph. So it's a simple graph in which there is exactly one edge between each pair of distinct vertices, right? So that means if you choose any two distinct vertices, there should be only one edge, exactly one edge, right? So in a complete graph, every pair of vertices are adjacent, right? So adjacent, you already know in my previous slides, I have told you in my previous videos what are adjacent vertices when there exists only one edge between those two. So here are certain examples of complete graphs. So this is a complete graph with one vertex. This is a complete graph with two vertex. So you can see exactly one edge between the vertices. This is K3, complete graph with three vertices. So you can see that you pick any two vertices, they are adjacent and there is exactly one edge. Adjacent means there should be exactly one edge between the two vertices. Similarly, this is an example of K4, one, two, three, four vertices. And you can see how the edges are joined. And you can see that if you pick any two edges of the vertices, they will be adjacent to each other. Right? So here the example, the property was that if any complete graph Kn will be planar if and only if n is less than or equal to 1. Right? Otherwise, it will not be a planar graph. So how can you make it planar? Then that you need to decide that how will you write the edges, draw the edges so that they are not crossing each other. So if I talk about K5, so let's see what is K5. So K5 is this graph. I have four vertices at the corners and I have one vertex in the middle also. So let me draw the complete graph K5 like this. And now when I join them like this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So can you see that the edges are crossing each other, right? So this can be made planar. You can just twist this edge and you can make it from outside the loop. And hence it can be, you can just take this vertex outside and it can be completely converted into a planar graph, right? Okay. Next is a regular graph. Now what is a regular graph? If each vertex of a graph G has the same degree as every other vertex, that means if suppose a graph has n vertices, if all the n vertices have the same degree, then that graph is called a regular graph. So a k regular graph is a graph whose common degree is k. So it will be defined as two regular graph, three regular graph, four regular graph, and so on. So two regular graph means that the degree of that graph, every vertex has degree. So consider K2 and K4, the degree of each vertex in K2, regular graph is 2, and in K4 it is 4. So if you just recall what was K2, K2 was when we had two vertices and this was the edge between them, right? So now here, in this case, you can see that what is the degree of K2? If I draw like this, with three vertices, so K2 has degree 1. You can see that K2 has degree 1 because each of the vertex has degree 1. K3, each of the vertices has degree 3, so K3 will have degree 2, right? So this can be called as a one regular graph. And 
K3 can be called as a two regular number. Right? Okay. So this is a two regular graph. So you can see that there are four vertices here. This is a two regular graph example because every vertex has degree two. In this case, it has five vertices and you can see that every vertex has degree four. You choose any of the vertices, they have degree four. So this is example of a four regular graph. Right. Now, let's come to one more exercise. Is the complete graph K4 thinner? So, let's see. Now, you have seen what is a K4 graph. K4 graph was like, drawn like this. And there was one vertex here. So, how many vertices this graph had? It had six, uh, six edges, right? So I know that if there is any planar graph, then it should obey this inequality. 3b minus e should be greater than or equal to 6. So 3 into the number of vertices are 4 minus the number of edges are 6. So 12 minus 6, is it greater than or equal to 6? At least it is satisfying the inequality 6 equal to 6. So yes, therefore the complete graph K4 will be clear. Right? Okay. So that's all. Thank you so much. So do subscribe my channel and do watch my videos. If you have any doubts, please do it in the comment section. And believe in yourself and you will be able to achieve it. Thank you.